Isn't that a thing of beauty? I mean, I thought I'd bring us over here. We're in Canada right now. Just chilling out, sitting in the rain, checking out the lightning, enjoying life, you know. Sometimes it's just nice to get away and just relax and enjoy the beauty of the world. This is a perfect setting for this video because I want to talk about some of the uh, comments from the last video and uh, I find it funny how you know I make a video about graphics and most of the comments from you know Forza fans and Project Car fans and you know most of the comments were regarding like frames per second and physics and that's all fine and dandy you know we can all have a discussion about physics and frames per second but you know when you're in a burger joint you don't talk about pizza you know what I'm saying and uh, you know it just it's a sign of weakness that's what I think and all this goes back to the launch of uh, Forza Horizon 2 and Drive Club and I remember, you know, all the fanboys fighting. There was a big war going on. And I remember, um, you know, the Forza fans. It's a big title. I know it's a big title. It's been around for a lot longer, obviously. And it's a flagship uh, racing game for Xbox. But, uh, you know, people were like, oh, you know, Drive Club's graphics aren't that great. And, you know, downgraded. They're going to be downgraded. And uh, it turned out, you know, that... Um, <laughs> it was actually that good, as you can see. Now, this, you know, pissed off a lot of uh, Xbox fanboys. And so they went from that, you know, because they lost that battle. And they went to, uh, oh, the amount of cars you have. Oh, we got 450 cars. Who cares? I mean, really? I mean... Is that what's most important to you? Having a bunch of crappy cars and then maybe like 150, 120 really good ones? I mean, who really cares about that kind of thing? I don't. I'd rather have quality over, I mean, qu like quality over quantity. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's like a bottle of wine. I was trying to explain this to someone else and down in the comment section from the last video. It's like a bottle of wine, you know? What do you want? A cheap bottle of wine that you could, you know, you know buy a hundred of them? Or do you want maybe a couple of good ones? You know what I mean? That that been, they've been aged and they're really good. Might be a bad analogy, but uh, anyways. The point that I'm trying to get across is, is that the physics of Drive Club are fine. They're good, as you can see from the opening sequence. Uh... Its biggest problem it had, I believe, was uh, that trailer it had before it launched. When it talked about uh, Forza, Forza Killer. And then it had the, you know, it did have a fail launch. It, it, it was pretty horrible. And right from there, you know what I mean? You show a sign of weakness, everyone jumps on you. And everyone's going to tear you apart. But one thing I'll give Evolution uh, credit for is sticking to what they believe. And, you know, what they're, it's a masterpiece, man, you know? And, um, you know, there's all the DLC that's coming out is great. And uh, the physics, they've tweaked it here and there. And, um, you know, I've read a lot of articles for Eurogamer and different sites like that. IGN, um, you know, different websites where they said that, you know, if it had a launched the way it is now, they would have given it a high score. This game was a wake-up call you know, for the rest of the industry. When the weather patch uh, was released, I mean, how many different companies, how many companies, you know, sat back and, and were just in awe of what, you know, Evolution Studios did. Um, the Witcher 3, you know, those devs, they, they, they seen it and they were just blown away that they uh, realized that they had to go back to the drawing board when it came to their weather, you know what I mean? Uh, for their game and um, it turned out to be pretty good not as good as drive clubs but it was it was better than it was probably going to be if it wasn't for drive club um, Forza Forza owes a lot to this game 
uh, Forza 6 because, um, you know, <laughs> well, let's put aside that they don't even have um, night day cycle or uh, dynamic weather. But uh, just the fact that they started thinking more about, you know, rain effects and puddles and, and how that all works in tandem and how it changes the feel of the driving, you know. Um, they learned a lesson. Everyone learned a lesson, you know, and it's good. And um, I'm just hoping that um, uh, in a couple of years we'll get another uh, Drive Club game. And... Um, you know, with, with the backing of what they already have, you know, they already have the first game out, they already have the design, they already have the engine, they can make it even better, you know. Um, I know that at the end of the month, I said this in the last video, but in the end of the month, they're going to have a surprise. Now, there's two things that it could be. It could either be um, dirt tracks for the buggy, oh, that would be sick, or... Uh, most likely it'll be uh, private rooms so you and your buddies can chill out and just play that way right um, the game is just beautiful and it drives awesome one critique I do have I mean I have a few obviously because everything is nothing's perfect it's a masterpiece I know I said it's a masterpiece but I mean if there's anything I, I would fix if they made another one, I would definitely make the roads like Japan. All the roads like Japan. More space. Like a little bit wider. Um, that's about it for when it comes to the tracks. Uh, and um, I don't like the system they have for um, multiplayer. I don't like the fact that I can't pick and choose what track I'm using at any given time. Right? Uh, you have to wait, and they have uh, team races, which I'm not really into, but I'll play it sometimes. They have time trials, I just don't play at all, uh, because I like interaction with the uh, with, uh, people. You know, some physics, sorry. Um, and uh, uh, I just think that, you know, they should have rooms for certain tracks, certain levels. I mean, not certain levels, but certain tracks where you can actually just join, you know, I want this track, rain, and these 50 people are in the same thing, they want the same kind of thing, you know, and so you can always get to that track and play that track or whatever it is. Anyways, hopefully with the rooms, they'll be able to do that. Um, it's not just, you know, a friends list thing where you can play that out. Um, yeah, look, it's a beautiful sunny day now, all in the same video. Isn't that great? That's called dynamic weather, and uh, people take that for granted, but I don't. And I'm sure the two million people who bought the game don't either. I think I'm rambling on a little bit now. And, um, sorry about that. Ooh, watch out now. We've got some physics happening here. Oh, yeah, it's all physics, believe me. Um, there's one other thing. I think that the gaming industry needs to, uh, get rid of crappy games like Forza Horizon 2. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I take that back. I don't mean that. What I'm trying to say is, I think that um, that companies, the devs who are making these games, you know, they should always strive for perfection. They should always strive for the best they can do, you know? And I just think, when I watch Forza Horizon 2, I mean, I can't tell if it's the 360 version or if it's the Xbox One version. And that just tells you something about, you know, the lackluster job they did with the game in the first place. Project Cars, I owned it, I played it, I it was okay, I liked it. I think the graphics are pretty good, not as good as Drive Club. The physics, obviously, it's sim, right? Um, and I'm not really, I'm like, I'm not really into the sim because I find it boring. I find that like when you're driving, you have to like, I mean geez, I can just go out and drive a car in real life, you know what I mean, if I want to feel like I'm restricted by, you know, the, uh, you know, by the speed and, and how fast you can go around a corner. I think that's why Drive Club has such a great balance between, you know, a sim and a arcade, 
because it's not easy. It's not an easy game to race. I mean, it's easy to just drive, but it's a hard game to master. I mean, I've been playing this game for a while now, and I'm telling you right now, some of these guys who race in this are just phenomenal, and they put you in check. I mean, drifting is, is hard. I mean, it's, it's a challenge. It's a fun challenge, though. It's not easy. I mean, I've heard people say, oh, the, the tires are too sticky and, you know, you stick to the road too much. No, that's like actual drifting. It's, it's a hard thing to do. Otherwise, everyone would be doing it. Um, but, yeah, it's a hard game to master. The driving is, is phenomenal, though. The sense of speed is just amazing. And, um, yeah, I mean, next time, if I, you know, want to make another video, I'm pretty sure I will. Because I'm enjoying this. Oh. And there goes my phone. Some prints. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later. Beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> talk to you later, guys. Ciao.